Hello everyone and welcome here. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Stay tuned to find out more. My name is Heather, AKA Hey Hey Crochet, and today I am going to show you how to make this strawberry. This pattern has been highly, highly requested on all my social media. I get DMs almost daily of people asking when it's gonna come out and today is the day. I really love how this came out and the design. It took so long like for me to just get this shape I wanted because like everything I did, it was either too narrow or too wide. I think I perfected it. I love it and I cannot wait to show you how to make it. I will be using the Bernat Blanket Yarn in the color race car red for this tutorial. It's a size six super bulky yarn, so you don't have to use this as long as you have a super bulky yarn or you can use really any yarn. It's just gonna come out smaller or bigger and you will need a 10 millimeter crochet hook. All the yarn that I used for this one and we'll be using for this one is all from the brights line this color for the stem and leaves is called go go green so if you want a red strawberry that's what these colors are called and you will need some white for the seeds or you don't have to do them but i don't know what this color is called probably just white but i've had this for a long time i've made several projects out of it this stuff lasts you forever oh it lasts me forever but real quick before we start this video, we're going to take a quick break and talk about this video's sponsor, Squarespace. From websites to online stores, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. With most of my audience here, I know that we crochet and or knit. And with that, I know a lot of us might want to take our talents to the next level. Whether that be with selling our work, blogging, or portfolio building, Squarespace is a great place to start. You can open an online store and sell both physical and digital goods from finished garments and plushies to downloadable PDF patterns if you're a pattern designer. Or you might want to go the crochet blog route like myself. Squarespace has professionally designed templates that can be customized to fit your style. Or maybe you want to create a portfolio website and showcase your work as a designer. You can create a portfolio that stands out and best displays your work. Whatever it is you might want to use your website for, Squarespace has the tools you need to start today. So if you're interested in creating a website with Squarespace, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just go to squarespace.com slash heyheycrochet or use the code heyheycrochet at checkout. And thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by making a magic ring. And then we're going to work eight single crochet into this ring. Now for the single crochet, I do my single crochet for clothing and my single crochet for plushies slightly different. For clothing, I usually go in, yarn over and pull through. But for plushies to make it less holy and just neater, I think, I just go in and pull it straight through. They make much tighter single crochet and it just, it looks neater to me. But you can do whichever one you want. And after you have your eight single crochet, you can close the magic ring and in this pattern we will not be slip stitching into the first stitch or chaining one we're just going to work around so the pattern will be seamless so we're going to work into the first stitch of the next round so just work one single crochet
and then insert your stitch marker so you'll know when you come back to the beginning. And for round two, work two single crochet in each stitch. So I already have one and that's two. Then work two single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. And just do that until the end of the round. By the end of round two, you should have 16 stitches. Now for round three, we're going to single crochet one into the first stitch. And then do an increase in the next stitch, which means work two single crochets to make an increase. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochets into the next. So you will just repeat around the row, working one single crochet and then two single crochet into the next. One, two, one, two. So you increase in every other stitch. By the end of row three, you should have 24 stitches. Now, moving on to rows four and five, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. So there will be no increases for rows four and five. Okay, so now starting row six, we will single crochet into the first stitch. I've already done that. Single crochet into the next stitch. And then work an increase. And we're going to repeat that. So one single crochet the next stitch, one single crochet into the next, and then our increase, which is two single crochet into the next. So you will repeat that all the way around, one single crochet, one single crochet, then two. One single crochet, one single crochet, and then two. At the end of row six, you should have 32 stitches. Now for row seven, we are just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So no increases, just one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, now for row eight, we will work one single crochet into the next three stitches. So it's one, two, three. And we will work an increase into the next. And we will just repeat that pattern until the end of the round. So one single crochet in the next three stitches and then an increase. Now by the end of row eight, you should have 40 stitches. Next for rows nine and 10, you will work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. So make sure there are no increases and only one single crochet in each stitch for rows nine and 10.
Okay, now for round 11. We are going to work one single crochet into the next four stitches. And then work one increase into the next. And you will repeat that again until the end of the round. By the end of round 11, you should have 48 stitches. Now for row round 12, we will work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. So no increases. Now for round 13, it will be another increase round. And we will work one single crochet into the next five stitches. and then work one increase. And you will repeat that until the end of the round. By the end of round 13, you should have 56 stitches. Now for row rounds 14 and 15, you will work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Okay, now for round 16, it's going to be an increase round and we'll work one single crochet into the next six stitches. and then an increase into the next. So you will repeat that. One single crochet into the next six stitches and then one increase. By the end of round 16, you should have 64 stitches. Now for round 17, we will work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. We are going to do the same as round 17 for rounds 18 through 21. So we will just work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Round 22 will be our first decrease round. So to do that, you're going to work one single crochet into the next six stitches. And then work a decrease. How I like to do mine is I like to work into the front loop only. So I insert my hook. Might be a little tricky to do. And then I insert my hook into the next stitch, but the front loop only as well. And then pull through and work a normal single crochet. I'll show you that one more time. So work one single crochet into the next six stitches. and then work a decrease. So you insert your hook into the front loop only, and then insert your hook into the next stitch of the in the front loop only. And then make a single crochet. And you repeat that until the end of the round. By the end of round 22, you should have 56 stitches. 
for round 23. You'll work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. Round 24 will be another decrease round. So you're going to work one single crochet into the next five stitches. and then work a decrease. And just repeat that process until the end of the round. By the end of round 24, you should have 48 stitches. For round 25, it will be another decrease round. So you're going to work one single crochet into the next four stitches and then work a decrease. And you will repeat that until the end of the round. For round 26, it will also be another decrease round and you will work one single crochet into the next three stitches and then work a decrease. And just repeat that until the end of the round. For round 27, you will work one single crochet into the next two stitches and then work a decrease. And repeat that until the end of the round. Now is the time that I like to stuff my strawberry, so Go ahead and do that. This should be what it's looking like. For round 28, we'll work one single crochet and then a decrease and then one single crochet and then a decrease and repeat that until the end of the round. I already worked one single crochet. So now for the decrease. And for round 29, our last round, we will just work decreases all the way around until the remaining hole is closed up. For the remainder of the hole, I just cut my yarn. And then get a darning needle. And right here, just weave in and out for a few stitches to help close it up. And pull tight. Don't worry about the stuffing. This will be covered with the stem later. I just pull it tight and then I like to make a few knots and then just weave in my end. Hope that was easy to see. And the main part of your strawberry should be done. Okay, for the seeds, you're going to start with your yarn coming out one of the holes 
and then we're going to make a V shape. So I'm going to go into the top and then over to the side. It will be a little messy with the stuffing coming out, but you can just push it back in or pull it out. You can clean it up later. And then from here, back into this bottom hole. And then when you're going into the bottom hole, just move your stitch to where you want to place your next seed. I have no real method or placement where I like to put them, just wherever I feel like I want the seed to be, that's where I'm going to put it. Um, I want to move this one over a little bit more, so we'll go back in and push it through. And then we're going to make a V shape. Let's go into the top, out to the side, and then back into the bottom, and then move on to the next. So you just do that wherever you want to put your seeds. Yeah. Now that we are done with the seeds, we will move on to the stem and leaves. Okay, for the stem and leaf part, we are going to start with a magic ring. And then work eight single crochet into this magic ring. and then close it. And for the second row, we are going to be working into the back loops only of every stitch. So instead of going through the whole stitch, we're only going through the back. and just repeat that until the end of this round. And then rows, I mean rounds three through five, we are going to work through every stitch normally. So rows three through five, just work one single crochet in each stitch. Now for round six, we're going to work two single crochet into each stitch around, but we will be working into the front loop only. So this one. So work two single crochet into each stitch working into the front loop only all the way around at the end of round six you should have 16 stitches okay for round seven we are going to work one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then we're going to chain 10. And then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain until the end of the chain. And then we're going to 
single crochet into the next three stitches. And then we're going to chain 10 again. And then single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Sorry, my video cut off. Um, and then you just single crochet into each chain until the end of the chain. And then work one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then just repeat the same process. Chain 10 single crochet in each of those chains and then single crochet into the next three then chain 10 and yeah just repeat that so when you're done with round seven it should look something like this there should be one stitch left so we will just single crochet into that last one now for the eighth and final round, we are just going to work around, just single crochet around each leaf, but in the top stitch, we're going to work five single crochet into the one stitch. So to do that, We're just going to single crochet as normal. And we are going to work in these loops from the chain. So there'll only be one loop. So just work into that. And for this last one, we're going to work right into the middle here, and we're going to work five single crochet into this. And then we're just gonna work into all of the stitches down here. And when you make it to the end, just single crochet as normal in these three stitches. And then just complete what we just did for each one of the leaves. So you work in all of these loops, these ridges on the back of the chain and then five single crochet into here and then work all the way down and just repeat that until the end of the round now at the end it should look something like this and i'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch and then going to cut a long tail to sew it to the top of my strawberry. Okay, to sew this on, I'm just going to try to center it as best I can. And then I'm just simply going to go into the stitch and pick up some of the main strawberry and just sew it to it. I'm not going to be sewing the leaves down because I like the way they look, but if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to. So I will just be sewing this part around the strawberry. 
so I go in pick up some of the red and it's just as simple as that go in pick up some of the red So yeah, I'll just be sewing down the main part. And that's how I do it. And that's it. Again, you can sew these down if you like. But I like the way they look and it looks more like a real natural strawberry. So yeah. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to stay up to date when I come out with new videos and tutorials and whatnot. I hope you have a great rest of your day.